John Mettinger. John Mettinger. John has been involved in, I would say, every single peace and justice issue in this community over the last 40 years. Well, I've made this point many times uh, that I think that John is very possibly the most uh, well-rounded and the broadest in service public servant in the state of Wisconsin's history. I've always been able to tell John really loved the cross, just the way he talks about it, his service to it. He is a true servant of the people when you look at his entire lifetime of service. Uh, he's done a lot for people. He reflects the finest and best of what uh, uh, a political science major and what a, a public servant could be in the state of Wisconsin. Before he got elected to the state assembly, he was uh, uh, doing some teaching and then even before that was a VISTA volunteer, Volunteers in Service to America. 16 years in the state legislature. He always represented La Crosse really well in the state legislature. He then retired from the state legislature and went on to be the mayor of La Crosse. And he has served two terms. Um, he's driven a school bus, uh, was a teacher, worked at a gas station. And then, you know, I think he's really remarkable for um, working for Cole and Baldwin and Russ Feingold. You know, he's involved with the, you know, the, the Moose Club. The, um, he's a Rotarian. He, he, he seems to always be doing something. Uh, that was something I actually thought about when I ran for office. I was like, I'm not going to be able to, to have the schedule John has. John Mettinger. His style of uh, campaigning was, was biblical. That is, wherever two or more of you are gathered, I will be there. <laughs> we all missed the top hat. We all loved that top hat he used to wear when he was mayor. I think everyone misses the top hat. His family and life experience makes him very approachable for the average person. So people who, who were paycheck to paycheck. Um, you know, the people at the brewery or people at the footwear up on the north side of La Crosse. You know, John really was is connected to, to people who are dependent upon their work their work and their paycheck. I don't know if you'd call it campaigning in a sense, but he keeps constant touch uh, with the people through bars and through restaurants, and he's, he's a regular at a lot of different places. So, I, I mean, I think that's exactly what he is. And I, you might think it's odd that he would spend time in bars, but in Wisconsin, that's not the worst thing in the world for a politician. John Menninger? John Mettinger. His lived experience of growing up, where I think there were eight kids in the family, um, everybody went to Catholic schools, which is really remarkable when you think about um, tuition costs for a family that is struggling to put food on the table to keep people warm at night. When John started to, to run, both in the assembly and then he took a swing at the state senate and, and whatnot, <clears throat> the entire Mettinger machine would show up in one fashion or another they were they were they are were and are formidable what's it like being a member of the Mettinger family well there's there's a lot of us around and uh, of course we're all related uh, but uh, I hear all the time whether I'm out and about or whether I'm knocking on doors or it's some sort of function uh, oh, so are, you, are you related to John <laughs> all the time and of course I I usually always say that I am, but you know, I'm proud to say that I am. Um, but uh, it's never caused me to have a door slammed in my face. The response is always positive. It's always, well, I know John, he's, he's a good guy. His legacy to me is that he reflected as a model of what public service should really be. To me, that's, you can look to him and say, this is what a politician should be. Don't forget your roots. Do, do what John Menninger did. Reflect the values of your area and you'll be a good politician. John Mettinger, 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 Mettinger. John, all kidding aside, I want to join your many friends in offering my sincere congratulations for this award. The recognition that you are getting at this point in your career is well-deserved and well-earned. The passion you've shown for this community and for the people here is something that I think we all recognize is a lifetime of accomplishment. Congratulations. Congratulations, John. Uh, you've been a huge influence and great friend 
all my life. Thank you very much. So John, congratulations, and congratulations to Dee as well. Dee's been right there with John for all these years and all these campaigns and services. Um, you, I hope you enjoy your retirement. You've certainly earned it, and uh, I look forward to having coffee with you soon. John, I'd like to congratulate you for your public service, for all you've done for the La Crosse area. I know that sounds sort of trite, but in your case, it is so extraordinarily well deserved. I could hardly think of anybody that deserves an award like this more than you. So thank you, John, for everything. Congratulations, John, on the award. It's well deserved, and it's after five o'clock, so let's go have a beer. <laughs>